voice of the preacher from the back room Call him my name and I follow just to find you I trace the faith to a broken down television I wanna get better Hi and welcome to this session. My name is Johan Lopez Helgeson. I'm back with my colleague Tommy Luthanen and uh, we're going to be inspiring you yet again with some uh, great uh, creative workflows um, in uh, the various uh, applications and utility applications and mobile applications that we have uh, here at Adobe. And we're going to talk about uh, Adobe Brush. We're going to be talking mm -hmm. about uh, the, um, uh, the creative libraries. Mm -hmm. and as well as Shape app as well, right? Yeah. Cool. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to look at uh, Illustrator first. Well, one of my favorites, of course. And um, with Illustrator, um, I'm a big fan of the vector brushes that, that are in Illustrator and also the pixel brushes in Photoshop. Basically, it's, it's fun to draw on almost any platform. And uh, we have some, uh, some very interesting stuff that um, users are generally not very well aware of. So, and that of course entails the mobile. So we will look at brushes and shapes on the mobile and how to, how to get them to the creative libraries and how to get them to your Illustrator and your Photoshop for, for the project that you are making. So, and this is actually a project that I'm, I'm doing. It's called uh, Project Venus. It has the uh, Sandra Botticelli's uh, Birth of Venus um, painting as a, as a background. And I've started this from, uh, from a pixel image and traced it. And then I'm, uh, I just made the uh, basic shapes for the neck and the shoulders and the face and then um, I paint it on some skin and then I have one one layer for the hair and then there are the facial features of on top of that and this is unfinished and uh, but I still would like to have some um, some peer uh, support from uh, from my friends so I'm gonna publish this to Behance as well but let's let's look at some brushes so um, I've made a brush in Illustrator, and the, very much the uh, old basic way. So here in my brushes, there's my pattern brush that I, I've made from just vector shapes. So how this works is that I grab my brush and go to my hair layer, like so. Select that as a target layer. And now I can paint with my hairbrush, if you will. <laughs> and this is gonna be like uh, the uh, frontmost um, hair in this image. So in the end, the background image will be gone and this will be totally vector. And as I said, this is very much work in progress. Sometimes I want to create brushes in a more intuitive way and maybe on the road that when I ha don't have my laptop with me. So I can go to my iPhone and on my iPhone I go to my creative applications and I go to Adobe Brush. And with Adobe Brush I've already pointed my Adobe Brush to my Project Venus. So I have several creative libraries here, but this is the Project Venus library, and it's also present on my laptop. So whatever I add to the library, either on my laptop or my iPhone, it will be visible in the library. Cool. Okay, so let's go back and make a brush. So. What I can do is I can use my camera roll, scroll for an image there, go to Creative Cloud, go to Market. So the easiest thing, of course, is to go to the market and I can go to the categories, icons, patterns, patterns that might make a decent brush there. And yeah, that would be maybe look like a good basis. 
and I'm going to add that to my library. Cool. There we go. You see it there? Yep. Yeah. And we can see it appeared instantly there. Okay. So that's an asset. I was like, oh, I, I needed to make a brush, but let's make one on the fly. So I'm going to tap the plus and I'm going to activate my camera. I'm going to do just a simple little thing. I'm going to use my Adobe ink, but not in the way that you think. That rhymes, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, He's on fire today. <laughs> so I'm going to point this Adobe brush to my Adobe ink. I'm going to select that image and it's going to make me a brush like this. And uh, it looks pretty stupid because it's just the image yep. stacked like that. And I can test what my brush looks like now that I draw my with my finger here. Mm -hmm. So Sweet. nothing special there, but I want to turn it into an illustrator brush. But it, but it, is it vector? I mean, does it's it looks, vector. So yeah. there are three choices here. So Photoshop, that's pixel, Illustrator, that's vector. Mm -hmm. And then there's Adobe Sketch. Sketch yeah. So Adobe Sketch is the one that I'm going to use first. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks like nothing mm -hmm. at all at the moment. But I'm going to go into the crop mode now. So I can see the image right here. So I can turn it. Awesome. With my fingers, mm. use the pinch feature like this. Mm -hmm. So there's the head, the body, and the tail mm -hmm. of the brush. And I can fine tune this. Yeah. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to adjust the image. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move the pen up here like this. And now I'm in the in the cropping mode. So I can basically uh, zoom and turn and and do all the cropping. And now I I want to do, I want to remove the extra useless pixels. Mm -hmm. So I'll just either tap next or go into refine mode, and I'll grab the uh, slider first. So you can see that oh it takes off a bit too much maybe. But I'm going to leave it at that and then I'm going to tap the minus brush and remove Sweet. the corner of the laptop. And uh, then I'm going to tap the plus and paint in some of the image like that. Okay. So, so why would you, what is it exactly you're doing in terms of uh, you're adding more? So I'm, uh, I'm adding and removing pixels. Yep. So if I tap the minus brush and do this so that will of course re remove the pixels mm -hmm. and if I do this that will add the pixels back okay and you get that idea so yep. now I'm gonna test okay now the brush now it looks more like a brush yeah yeah okay. so I'm gonna tap next and then I'm gonna set the size I'm gonna make it a bit smaller make the flow I'm gonna make it work with the pressure of mm -hmm. the pen also, I could use uh, velocity and texture, but that's uh, that's not really um, that's not really uh, applicable right here with this brush. Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to tap save, and it's saved into my project Venus, and cool. it's going to be called Brush One. And you can see yeah. on my laptop, there it is, and it's gray. So this means that this is not supported. By, by Illustrator, but mm. you remember, we chose it for Adobe Sketch, but let's get back to that a little later. Mm -hmm. So that was, uh, that's Adobe Brush. Okay, the next thing um, I can show you, there's uh, an asset called the lion here, mm -hmm. and it's created in Adobe Shape. And I'm gonna drag and drop it right here to my project and as you can see it's vector so this was grabbed from this uh, history book so it's um, it's this lion emblem uh, it's an um, I think it's the Lannister family lion no it's not <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me <laughs> so so 
how do you create this? Of course, you can scan and then go into Photoshop, clean it up. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, at least I don't have a scanner with me, mm -hmm. but I do have my smartphone. Mm -hmm. So what you do now is you can use Adobe Shape. And let's create this, uh, recreate this lion. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go back here. And uh, basically, as you, as you can see, um, with the uh, when I was in the airplane and my um, my shape wasn't connected to the internet, mm -hmm. so but I took one floral pattern mm -hmm. from one, from an in-flight magazine. You can see it uh, appeared right away awesome. into the uh, right when I'm online. Yeah. So you don't, have, you don't have to be online to make these things yeah. work. So uh, I'm gonna do one more, and I'm gonna use the camera roll. And um, go back. There we go. So this is the live preview mm -hmm. of what we get with this image. So if I use the slider, you can see the sort of contrast mm -hmm. changing. So there's less stuff visible yep. there. And there's also lots of useless stuff, and there's a, there's a bit of distortion because the other page of the book was turned like that. Yeah. So what I can do now is I can take my finger and clean this up. So as you can see, there's the minus and there's the plus. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use the minus and remove these parts. It highlights when yeah. you're removing it. Yeah, yeah. They, it, they turn white, mm -hmm. the parts that don't belong. If I make a mistake, I just slap on the plus. So let's say I make a mistake here, like so. Mm. So that wasn't good. So let's put on the plus mm -hmm. again and just quickly paint over it. Cool. And Very intuitive. Yeah. OK. So now uh, shape is processing the image. Mm -hmm. So that was pixel. Now it's vectorizing yeah. right on my iPhone. Mm -hmm. Going pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, and this is. Um, I remember in the in the good old days, uh, Adobe the uh, yeah, the, the, the <laughs> um, Adobe Streamline. Streamline. Yeah, yeah, it didn't work this fast. No, no, it didn't. It <laughs> was. This is a phone. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, and back in the back in those days, I had uh, I had like uh, a computer that that cost like almost thirty thousand euros. Yeah, and it was still yeah, slow. Yeah, exactly. With the today's yeah. standard. Yeah, and I'm going to give it a name. Lion 2. But generally, you, you would create a, a logo type or whatever in a napkin. And in yeah. this case, you know, you, you just uh, took a picture out of a, a newspaper, but, yeah. uh, a magazine, sorry. But in, normally, in normal circumstances, when you just, uh, you know, Scribble yeah, you, your, see, you scribble yeah. something uh, on a napkin, and yeah. then you take a picture of it with your mobile phone, and then yeah. it, it vectorizes it. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It's so cool. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or if I need, like, um, I've made this like a cartoon character. Mm -hmm. It's right here, and I've used a, a really, really stupid ballpoint pen, as you can see, mm -hmm. to uh, to draw it. That's a good test. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Use my camera, point it, Sweet. so you can see. And uh, and the good thing about this, of course, it's that even though yeah. it's drawn with a ballpoint pen, mm -hmm. it's still pretty nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And now, can, now I can bring it in, mm -hmm. and I can just drag and drop. And there we go. It's vector. And it's vector. Yeah, it's amazing. What an amazing uh, way of actually, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm biased, of course, but uh, it's an amazing way of actually um, uh, really streamlining people's workflow. Yeah. I mean, if you imagine, now you're doing it as an, as an individual, but imagine if you were to work as a part of a team as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah actually, this, uh, this project, this project Venus that I'm doing, mm -hmm. I'm. I'm sharing it with uh, with two of my uh, colleagues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I recognize and, that. Yeah, so <laughs> so so everything I do mm -hmm. is updated constantly mm -hmm. 
in our creative cloud folder that I have shared. Yep. So there are, I have this and there is the project Venus and everything I've done is in this folder as well and it's shared with my uh, with my colleagues cool okay and um, the cool thing to remember of course is that that Adobe brush and Adobe shape are also uh, available for the iPad so it's not just the iPhone and yes we just announced for the plans that they are going to be on the Android platform as yeah, well that's right we always get that as a critique, you know, that we always start with iOS first and, yeah. and this and the other. Yeah. But now you're going to have them available on Android devices. Yeah. But I'm excited now, Tommy, to to take this to the next level when you're going to be showcasing. What are you going to showcasing to us now? You holding on your Adobe Ink. Yeah, so pen. let's go to Adobe Brush and I've made a brush here. And, uh, and you can see that this brush has been made for Photoshop. And it's been uploaded to my uh, to my Creative Cloud library. So met, let's make a, a new file and go into my libraries and select. And there it is, the brush number two. So there we go. Very cool. So, and that's actually yeah yeah. It is the, <laughs> the Adobe slide. slide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the, the brushes and Adobe Shape. Mm -hmm. And in the next session, we'll be talking about Behance. Am I right? Yes, you are. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.